we're back. Today I'm cooking oxtails. Actually, I'm cooking rasta pasta. It's kind of a cool South Florida day. We'll make a hearty meal. Get ready for the game later on. But first, you know what we gotta do. We gotta make a drink. All right, today's shrink, we're gonna have a little Texas crown. I actually got this for my good friend to one of Mars. Thank you for sending this. Very smooth. Tastes just as good as Crown Royal. But today we're gonna do Texas Crown, sweet lime juice, Coke, and we're gonna garnish it with a lime. We're gonna stir this. So one part, Texas Crown, two parts. Sweet lime juice. We're gonna stir this. We'll add the coke later. Just to infuse the flavor of the sweet lime juice. And we'll pour this on top of our ice here. About halfway. Top it with coke. Cut a lime. Of course, I got my dolphin knife. Squeeze a little bit of the, this natural citrus. Put this on top. And it takes its crown with sweet lime. Really, really good. And then we'll come back. We'll start on our roster pasta. All right. So we're going to start boiling up water for our noodles. We need panini, of course. You can use any brand you want. I just chose this one. Of course, you need to salt your water. And I like adding a little oil to mine just so um, the noodles won't stick. So. Go. All right, so we're gonna start cutting our vegetables up for the roster pasta. We got a sweet vidalion, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, some thyme, and um, scotch bonnet. I tell you, this is a very important step with the scotch bonnet that I had to need to tell you, but I'll tell you later in the video. So now let's start cutting the vegetables up. Okay, so our noodles is about ready. We're gonna take it and put it in our strainer. We already got it right here. We're just gonna pour that in there. Pour some cold water on it to shock it to keep it from cooking. Continue to cook. And um, once we do that, um, we're gonna just let it sit and then um, that'll be it. We're gonna start on our seasoning our oxtail to get our oxtail sauce. Okay, now we're gonna season our oxtails. Um, so we're gonna just coat them with some olive oil. Of course, you can do whatever you like, whatever rocks your boat. Um, I like to coat mine with oil. Helps the seasoning stick better. Um, so we're gonna use um, garlic powder. Seasoning salt. And this is the liquid seasoning. I love this. Um, it really um, gives your meat lots of flavor. And 
can less. Salt, I just use. And lastly, we're going to use curry powder. Usually, with the um, rasta pasta, you use um, like a spicy curry powder. I'm not going to use that today because um, I have kids eating it, but um, if that's what you want to do, by all means, do that. So, um, I'm not going to use a lot of this curry powder because I don't. Curry is a, um, a seasoning that it really can uh, take over the other seasonings. So, um, that's just to give it a just a nice curry flavor but not overbearing so when I come back we're going to braise these just to seal the um, the flavor in then we'll start um, cooking it alright we're going to braise our oxtails now just to kind of seal the flavor in but before we do that got to sip sip All right, so I already added my oil. All right, so I finished braising them. This is what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my thyme. My sweet onions to this. Remember when I was talking about those scotch bonnets? We're going to add it in here. When you stir, Please stir gently. You don't want to pierce or break these. It'll ruin your whole dinner. But the flavor that this particular pepper gives out is priceless. So this is a must. We'll add that in there. If you have a beef broth added, I'm just going to add just regular old water. I'm gonna add a tad bit of brownie, just to kind of give it a nice thick flavor. It's, it's really gonna make its own little flavor, but I like adding it before, and I might add a little bit after. Depends how I cook. So it's gonna cook for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then we'll come back and check it, and we'll come back and start on our um, pasta. How does that dish smell from out here, boys? I don't even smell it from out here. I can smell it from out here and in the back room. I wonder I know I wonder how it's gonna taste. It's gonna be so good. What do you think? Bashing bashing. Right. So we're now we're gonna start on the pasta side of it. But first we're gonna take another sip. Two sips. Alright, so we heated up our pan. Add our oil. So we're gonna start adding our vegetables. Come back, we'll start adding the heavy cream. 
a nice boil here. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar to it just for a little um, texture. Um, not really for the flavor, but kind of thicken it a little bit, but it does give out a good flavor. So we're gonna stir that up a little bit. Still got a still got scotch bonnets. Feel good. So we're gonna let that reduce a little bit, let that cook down. That actually should be good. So our peppers have kind of tenderized a little bit. So we're gonna start um, adding to it. So we're gonna add this um, Alfredo cheese. You use the heavy cream. Stir that a little bit. We're going to bring that back up to a um, simmer. And then we'll start um, adding um, our other two cheeses. But this should come out pretty good. Um, I'm sorry, before we add our other two cheeses, we're going to add the, um, the noodles in here, the panini. And then we'll add the other two cheeses. All right, so we're adding our noodles. Just add them a little bit at a time. Um, we brought everything up to a simmer. So we're adding our noodles now. So I'm just adding a little bit at a time and then we're gonna add um, our other two cheeses that we have. Then we're gonna reduce the heat and uh, we're just gonna let it sit to our oxtails get back. One cheese, we have a cheddar, sharp cheddar. We're gonna add to this. So just soaking in all that flavor with the peppers and the onion. And uh, actually we got three types of cheese actually. And we're gonna use the mozzarella. Let me get this open. So we're gonna let this reduce and we're gonna turn the heat down in this and um, we're just gonna let this sit until our oxtails get done. And then we'll show you the finished product. Go. All right, so we're about an hour and a half, um, hour 45 minutes into this um, cooking process with the oxtails. You see it's coming out really, really good. Um, so we're going to wait maybe another 20 minutes, let it just cook down a little more, and we'll be ready to eat. All right, this is the finish. The oxtails are finished. Look how good they look. So we're about ready to eat, and we're about ready to enjoy some football and family. So this is my finished product. I added some cabbage to it, 
and here's my Rasta pasta. You're gonna enjoy this, enjoy some NFL football. And remember what I say, love, live, laugh, always enjoy your family, and we're out.